times, everyone. Feeling good about that? Woo! It's warm, it's beautiful, it's so hot, and it's uh, every woman's favorite season, catcalling season. Oh, it's so great. You guys, listen, uh, I say this directly because catcalling actually does not affect me at all. You know, everyone's shocked. They're like, who wouldn't want to justify you? <laughs> figured out the secret to never getting catcalled. Like ever. Just men, leave me alone. Ladies, do you want in on it? Do you want to know? Yes. Yes. Okay. So the secret to never being catcalled is just to look super extra all the time. <laughs> Straight men look at me and are instantly exhausted. <laughs> Too much work. <laughs> Sorry. Like a straight man looks at me and he immediately feels like, oh, why, why did I just wait an hour for the bathroom? I, I don't understand. Like if this straight man looks at me, he just shudders. Ugh, like he just woke up, woke up from a fever dream uh, where he spent his whole Saturday at Sephora. <laughs> they don't like it. They don't like it at all. Not at all. Uh, if, a, if a straight man was to see me on the street and instinctively yell something at me, I feel like he would yell, You look fine! We're gonna miss our dinner reservation! <laughs> Yeah, I don't like it at all. So, 
now when uh, when I get asked uh, what are you what are you what's your mix I just respond with I don't know they found me at a bus stop when I was two <laughs> <laughs> and this uh, I don't like it but it works it has proven very effective makes people feel very uncomfortable <laughs> stop talking to me which is uh, was my goal um, so there we go. Uh, here's some good news. Here's some nice bit of news. I got married recently. I got married. Someone decided to marry me. I don't know either. And it's it's fun, but it's also very scary and a little weird because this is the first time in my whole life I've been in a relationship and I've looked at another person and I've realized, oh my gosh, we might not break up. <laughs> like the soft pillow <laughs> that I could rest my head on when I grew weary. You know? And you just be like, that hairline is looking kind of dangerous. <laughs> so I won't have to look at it. <laughs> watch these cops fumble around with all the wrong moves. Very likely. <laughs> and the whole time I was just gripping the sides of the seat like, why are you looking in the forest? She's in the basement! <laughs> you know that experience when you're watching a movie that you love. And, 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 and it really stuck with me afterwards. Like I thought about that movie for a lot. And I came to the realization that omnipotence would be such a curse. It wouldn't be some sort of cool X-Men godlike power. And then I realized that God, if he does exist, just must have such bad anxiety. <laughs> we look at our lives and we're like, God has abandoned us. Hell yeah, God has abandoned us. <laughs> like God is just staring at us the whole time like, you idiot! <laughs> Can't even. 